One of the most famous and popular sequences of numbers is the Fibonacci sequence. It is named after 12th century mathematician Leonardo of Pisa, who was also known as Fibonacci and who discovered the sequence in 1202. The first two Fibonacci numbers are 0 and 1, and each remaining number is the sum of the previous two. If one graphs a set of connected squares, using the Fibonacci numbers, as lengths of the sides of said squares, and then draws a line, that starts from the corner of the innermost square. The line will form a golden spiral, so named, because of the constant ratio, that it maintains, as it grows, a value of 1.618. This value is known as the golden ratio, a mathematical constant which occurs in many aspects of nature. There is one common misconception about the golden spiral that occurs in nature, common enough that it is difficult to find much evidence to support the contrary. This is the school of thought that says that the shell of a nautilus, a marine cephalopod, grows in the shape of a golden spiral. However, a small bit of research will lead one to discover that this is not the case. While the shell of a nautilus does grow in a logarithmic spiral, a term used to describe a spiral that maintains its original shape but grows in size with each successive curve, the ratio of the spiral is not 1.618. Mathematician Clement Falbo studied nautilus shells at the California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco. He discovered that their ratios ranged from about 1.24 to 1.43, averaging at about 1.33. These numbers, of course, are relatively far off from the 1.618 ratio of the golden spiral. The myth of the nautilus shell and the golden spiral is a popular one. A quick search on the internet, for example, will reveal hundreds to thousands of pages that claim that the relationship does exist. However, there are few pictures that actually contain the spiral superimposed over the shell, thus revealing that there is no connection between the two. This demonstrates yet another example of the necessity of hypothesis and the scientific method as well as using measurements and mathematical proofs to verify one's research. It is important to research and experiment and not simply to always believe everything one finds in rumors.